What's up, YouTube? The uh, born again pattern that's established in the book of Acts, the uh, Acts of the Apostles, those, if, if you take in uh, most, a lot of uh, ministries, they will negate, reject, um, ignore <clears throat> the beginning. And uh, Peter talks about this is what happened to us at the beginning. Look look for that. It's in Acts chapter 11. That's right after Cornelius' house got the gift of the Holy Ghost, for they heard them speak with new tongues. Just like Acts 2, 4, when uh, Peter got the gift of the Holy Ghost, for everybody was speaking in tongues. That's the beginning. Okay, that was the upper room experience. That's born of the Spirit born of the Holy Ghost, just like Jesus was, you know, Mary was overshadowed, and he got here through the Holy Ghost, because he is the Holy Ghost. As your revelatory lights come on, you'll see that through the scriptures. You'll see he is the everlasting Father, as your revelatory lights come on through the scriptures. Okay, so keep these things in mind. And now the context, when they skip past Acts, and they go into the Gospels or the uh, Epistles, and then they say, look, Romans says this, you're saved, or, you know, this or that, but uh, it's you want to look at the context. Have they skipped steps? Most of the time, the answer is yes, for many reasons, money, politics, I'm this denomination, I'm of Cephas, I'm a... I'm of Paul, I'm of Jesus, you know, all the things in the Bible uh, laid out. But get back to the beginning and do the Acts 2 pattern. That gets you into the kingdom of heaven, according to uh, all the, the whole Bible. The whole New Testament is geared towards this. That's the beginning, okay? So don't skip past and say, oh... John 3.16 says this. That means I'm... See... And, you know, the first eight verses of John 3 actually are the Great Commission of being biblically born again, which is Acts 2.38. You always go back to the beginning. Where did all this stuff start? It's The pattern is first seen in Acts 2. Okay? This stuff is not... I have to believe Satan's blind in people's eyes because it's been in the script. Scripture's been here for hundreds of years. A couple thousand on the New Testament. I mean, so it's been here. But uh, it's it's the teachers, the minds, they're not they're not getting into scriptures how they should be. And their politics, they're this and, and they're that. And, uh, you know, my bishop doesn't let me we baptize this way, you know. See, that's not going to help you at the judgment, folks. You do do what the apostles commanded. Okay, get in the scriptures. I always tell you, study the scriptures. They won't lie to you. Okay, these goofy, you know, these some of these guys. Like I said, they are prophetic people. They are, but they. Do what the scriptures say, okay? It started in Acts 2, and um, people, they're going to come around to this because there's no other entrance into the kingdom of heaven. Yes, you repent, and you stop doing this and that, and then you started going to church, and, and now you are got your Bible, and now you go to church and sit and listen. and Now you're a Christian, now you're born again. Well, that's what they tell you. But you're, you're, you're baby stepping to be a morning in. But the problem is the message never comes out of their mouth. Again, because they have not this revelatory knowledge, even though it's right in the scriptures. I could start just about anywhere in the New Testament. And it will, I will show you how it always loops back to the beginning, Acts 2. Always. Always. From, from Matthew to Revelation. It always loops back. That's all. God bless.